Okay, so if you're a user of Google Chrome, then you really need to watch the whole of this video and you really need to do this right now. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So what am I talking about? Well, Chrome has recently been hit with a lot of bugs, a lot of vulnerabilities, which means that hackers can quite easily get into your system via Chrome or they can intercept things. They can intercept your emails. They might be able to intercept your banking. They might be able to intercept purchases. Who knows? There's a lot of vulnerabilities. And this year in 2024, it just keeps happening. Now, luckily enough, the people that develop Chrome are on the ball with this. As soon as they find out a vulnerability, they do update it. But you really do need to check that you're running the latest version of Chrome, especially now because there are a few zero day vulnerabilities that have been patched. Now, what do I mean by zero day? Now, this means that hackers know about these vulnerabilities and they have been seen to be exploiting them, i.e. they've been doing things that will capture information. They will plant viruses on your computer. So it is critical that you do make sure that Chrome is up to date. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways to ensure that Chrome is up to date on your system. So first of all, the best thing to do is actually go into Google Chrome. OK, and once you're in Google Chrome, you might actually see a what's new in Chrome and it might say up there your Chrome is up to date, but it doesn't necessarily mean it is fully up to date. So what I would say is, is whatever screen comes up when you open Chrome, just click on the three dots. That's the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click that. This menu should come up. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and go down to help. And then once you move your mouse over help, move it across to about Google Chrome. Left click once. There we go. Now, if there is an update, it will update Chrome. Now, as I said earlier, my Chrome was saying it said my Chrome is up to date, but it's not. It lied. So make sure that you go into the three dots and then help and then about Google Chrome and see whether or not there's an update. So, OK, it's saying now nearly up to date, relaunch Chrome to finish updating. Now, if yours has had trouble updating, then stick around. We're going to go through a few more ways to update Chrome or make sure it's up to the latest version. So, OK, mine now says nearly up to date, relaunch Chrome to finish updating. So click on relaunch just there and Chrome has relaunched. So and it's checked to make sure that uh, is up to date. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close these down now and then I'm going to close Chrome right down, go back into Chrome once again. And I just want to check again, just go into the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner, go down to help and then across to about and just make sure it says Chrome is up to date. Now, if it says Chrome's up to date, you're fine. You're good to go. But what if you've had a problem updating Chrome? Then what I would suggest is if you're running Windows uh, 10 or Windows 11, then what we want to do is we want to restart the computer. So close down Chrome. Let's click on the cross in the top right hand corner and then we click on the start button. Click on power. Now, this is very important. You must click restart. Do not click shutdown. Shutdown doesn't actually restart all the services, all the drivers and bits and bobs. These are bits that are running in the background. If you do shut down, this may not solve your problem. So click on restart. That's the best thing to do. You'll let your computer restart. Now, as soon as your computer's restarted, go into Chrome again. Wait for it to fire up. It might take a bit longer this time to fire up. Click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner. Go down to help and then go across and click on about Google Chrome and just see if it now updates. It might even say it's now up to date. If so, then you're fine. If not, then the next best thing to do, go up to the address bar right at the top of the screen where it's got Chrome settings help just up there and delete that out and then type in there cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. That's all in lowercase and no spaces. That's cwtek.co.uk forward slash 
WD. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, if you've typed the correct address in, then you should see this. Now you can either manage your options there or just click consent. Scroll down and what you're looking for is you're looking for the section that says essential Windows downloads. Okay, left click once on Google Chrome. Now this will take you to this website here, which will download the full version of the latest version of Google Chrome. Click there where it says download Chrome and let it download. I can see there in the top right hand corner, it's downloading. So just give it a minute or two. Like I say, this is the full install download. To, it, it will update your computer to the latest version of Chrome. OK, so close down Chrome once you see that Chrome standalone setup 64.exe appear in the top right hand corner. So let's just click on the cross and then go to any yellow folder on your computer and click on downloads and then what you're looking for is you're looking for chrome standalone setup 64 double left click on that it might look not look as though that anything's happening for a little while don't panic just leave it it does often take a while for something to come up if you see this do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device make sure that it says google chrome installer make sure that the verified publisher is google llc if it that all matches click on yes it's now going to install. But like I say, you might not see anything happen for a while. They go initializing. Now, incidentally, if you're running Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 7 or an even earlier version of Windows, now you can't get Google Chrome up to the latest version on that but you can use an alternative browser and I'm going to show you what browser you should be using in a second. OK, so let's just close down the downloads window there. Click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. Go down to help and then up to about Chrome. It should tell you that it's up to date. Now, what if it doesn't actually install? Then your next step is to really back up your information in Chrome, uninstall it and then reinstall it. But you might be wondering, well, how do I back up my information in Chrome? Well, if you're signed in to your Google account, so if you've gone in there and you've clicked on turn on sync and it says that your computer is syncing, then that's fine. You, it's all backed up in your Google account. And all you need to do is once you reinstall Chrome, just sign back into your Google account and everything will come back. Now, what if you've not done that? Now, if you have got a Google account, that's the best thing to do is click on turn on sync, follow the instructions, let it sync. And uh, then all your settings, all of your bookmarks, all of your passwords will be backed up. But if you want to back up your bookmarks, if you want to back up your passwords without signing into an account, then all you do is click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner. You might have to scroll down, but click on settings, click in search settings just up the top there and just type passwords and then click on Google Password Manager. Now in here, you want to click on settings just over there on the left. And then you want to click on download file just over there, just in the column that says export passwords. Now it might ask you here for the password or the pin number you use to log into your computer. If it does, then enter it in right now. OK, so I'm going to check where Chrome passwords is going to be downloaded to. It's going to be downloaded to the documents folder according to up here. You can change the uh, the path of where it's going to be uh, stored, but documents is fine. So just click on documents, click on save. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to back up our bookmarks in Chrome. So click on the three vertical dots, move your mouse over bookmarks and lists and then click bookmark manager. And I haven't really got many bookmarks in there. There you go. I've got some. I've got an Amazon bookmark there. But what I want to do is I want to click on the lower three vertical dots, just these here, the ones below the ones I've been clicking on and then click export bookmarks and then it's going to save it to documents or mine check. Make sure it's going to save it to documents on yours and then click on save. And then what we want to do is if we have to reinstall Chrome, we want to shut down Chrome. Click on the start button there. Click on settings, type apps. And then hopefully after a few seconds, you should see add or remove programs. Click on that. Find Google Chrome in the installed apps list. It's in alphabetical order. So there we go. There it is. 
click on the three horizontal dots just to the right there and then click uninstall click uninstall again click yes if it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device make sure that it says google chrome installer and make sure the verified publisher is google llc if this matches then do click yes OK, so it says uninstall Google Chrome. Are you sure you want to uninstall Google Chrome? And there's a tick box there. Also delete your browsing data. Now, I would say leave that unticked because hopefully then you shouldn't need to restore your browsing data. So click on uninstall. So there you go. You just got a message there saying you just uninstalled Chrome. Close that down. And then what we want to do is we want to close this down as well. And we want to reinstall Chrome. So go back into any yellow folder, go back into downloads and that file you downloaded earlier from my website. Double click that Chrome standalone setup 64. Now make sure that if this comes up, it says Google Chrome installer. Make sure the verify publisher is Google LLC. Click on yes if it matches and then let Chrome install. And we're just going to see whether or not it's restored our bookmarks and also whether or not it's reinstalled our passwords as well. So there you go. It's now installed. Chrome has opened up by itself. So let's just have a look. I'm going to click on the three dots there. I'm going to click on passwords and autofill there and then Google password manager. And yes, it's kept my passwords. And let's just check the bookmarks as well. So click on the three dots, click on bookmarks and lists, click on show all bookmarks. And there you go. Yeah, it's kept them. Now, if for any reason this hasn't worked and it hasn't updated Chrome, then what you want to do is you want to uninstall it and tick that box that says delete browsing data. But make sure that you've backed up your passwords and make sure that you've backed up your bookmarks so that you can restore them. So now you might be thinking that if I've had to delete all my browsing data and I've got to restore my bookmarks and my passwords and how do I do that? Well, click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner of Chrome, go into passwords and autofill, go into password manager. And then what you want to do is it's got here save passwords will appear here to import passwords to the Google Chrome manager on this device, select a CSV file. So click on that or go to settings and under import passwords, go to select file. And then what you want to do is you want to find your file, which I saved in documents called Chrome passwords. Double click that. And there you go. It says import successful. So close it. And then we want to re-import our bookmarks. So click on the three vertical dots in the top right hand corner. Go to bookmarks and lists. Go to bookmark manager. And there we want to click on the second set of three vertical dots in the top right hand corner. Go to import bookmarks. Click that. And then you're looking for bookmarks and the date that you back them up. Double click that and there you go. That restores your bookmarks. Now, what, as I said earlier, what if you're running a, a, a system that's older than Windows 10? Now, unfortunately, Chrome isn't updated, but I did say that you can download an alternative browser, which basically is Google Chrome. So all you do, just open any browser on your system. It can even be Google Chrome and just type in the address bar at the top of the screen, win32 subsystem dot live forward slash super meum. That's just as it's shown on the screen, all in lowercase, no spaces. Once you've typed this in, press enter or return on your keyboard. This is an up to date Chromium based web browser compatible with even Windows XP and just choose here whether you've got a 64 bit or a 32 bit setup. If you've got Windows, I'd say XP and Windows Vista, then you're probably running a 32 bit setup. If you're running Windows 7 and above, then you're probably running a 64 bit setup, but it won't do any harm just by trying. So there you go, that guide. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and VPNs. Buying, subscribing, and donating 
donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.